When we first started the Loyola Center for Cranial-Based Tumors, we made our original focus acoustic neuromas. Acoustic neuromas are benign nerve tumors that originate in the inner ear cylinder called the internal auditory canal. As it grows, the tumor actually kind of moves the nerves away, the vestibular nerve and then the facial nerve and the cochlear nerve are all in this very small space where these arise and compresses the brainstem. It's a rare tumor, one in a hundred thousand people per year are diagnosed with acoustic neuromas. They are always benign, slow growing, they're not hereditary, they're one-sided. We happen to see a lot of acoustic tumors, but uh, in reality, they're, they are rare. We see uh, about three to four new acoustic neuroma patients every week. We usually operate on about 70 a year, and we've operated on uh, upwards of 1,500 of these tumors over a 29-year period of time. A substantial part of the research that Dr. Leonetti and I do is geared toward measuring how we can do that better and better, and we've seen improvement in all aspects of cranial nerve preservation in all types of tumors of this sort, not only acoustic tumors, but other tumors of the posterior fossa. Prior to the 1960s, it carried about a 50% mortality rate, mainly because of lack of microscopic dissection, MRIs were not available, surgical technique was much different. Once we got over the high risk of death, our focus was on saving the facial nerve. It has always been a challenge to remove these tumors without injuring the nerves. We make every attempt to preserve all the functions of all the nerves that we encounter. Recent advances include managing the tumors with intraoperative measurements of both the facial and the cochlear nerves function. Now what's unique about our center is the fact that we have highly trained audiologists, at least two of them, sitting in the operating room right over our shoulder to give us that real-time feedback. We're able to put an electrode directly on the hearing nerve and we have top specialists in audiology to interpret the screen. That gives us the surgeons the best chance and a unique opportunity to save hearing in more patients.